Hello Kenyans, this is Cheo Machia and um, I'm doing the last episode this year. Uh, I'm just trying to uh, evaluate or rate uh, the Kenyan government under UDA and uh, Kenya Kwanzaa. Uh, I feel, I so highly feel that this government has not delivered, this government has not done any development, this government is very busy. Its leaders, its leaders, and I'm talking about you know the, the highest leaders, all the way to like the the the, the, the mid range leaders, even including the MPs. The leaders are very busy, very very busy, attaining wealth, and amassing wealth, and giving lies to Kenyans, because uh, I mean look, look at what is happening. If you look at what uh, the MPs are doing, most MPs, especially in Mount Kenya, you know, like where um, I'm around and, you know, like Nairobi, a lot of MPs from this government, all they're doing is doing that road. They're doing that road. And when El Nino came, a lot of people were stuck in their villages because there was no Maram road. There was no Tamak road. I mean, it's very surprising. It's like uh, President Uhuru left with Tamak and, um, you know, gravel and the big tractors of doing roads and culverts because these people, they don't know what th th that means because the roads, all roads are so bad. The roads are so bad. And also they didn't, they're not doing, the government is not doing any, any new roads. The government is not finishing the old roads. This government is not doing anything. I mean, this government is not building any dams. It's not completing the old dams. It's not completing the old water systems or the old water projects. I mean, it's doing nothing. And all they are doing, they're saying, is that they found no money. But this is over one year now. They have collected almost uh, almost three billion, three trillion, and borrowed over two trillion. That's five trillion. You know, uh, that, that's that's five thousand billions. You know, that's five thousand billions. And yet they're saying there is no money. And and we uh, we know that the, uh, the the debt burden for this country is only about five hundred uh, billion per year. So if you take out that, there's still a lot of money that they can de do development, but they're not doing it. I mean, uh, I'm critical to the government, but I'm critical to every government that's, that does uh, some stupid things or a government that does not deliver to its own people. You know, they swear to, to deliver development to the people, you know, to uplift their lives. Look at what, what is happening. The food is so expensive. Fuel is so expensive. Everything is so expensive. I mean, school fees. It's almost like every every student now is going or um, is going on a private college, whereas these are our government institution. Even high school, uh, you know, like secondary schools, very very expensive. You know, they're not even paying their workers on time. We, we had the CS Energy, uh, no CS um, uh, Finance, saying they don't have money for salaries. You can imagine. They don't have money for salaries. They don't have money to to give to help or to 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 to, to the MPs. I mean, this government, all they're doing is all the money that is getting to them, they're taking it away. I don't know where they're taking it, but I believe they're taking it abroad. That is my belief. They're taking it abroad so that they know very well, it's like they don't want a second chance or a second term. So they want, you know, their priority is take money. We don't care about the second term. And that's why they come up with promises after promises, promises after promises. Just the other day, we had the, the, the leader saying that... The, the, the economy is stable. We know very well it's not stable. Yeah? His own minister of finance was saying they don't have money. You know, the minister energy said it will take over three years to stabilize the, 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 the power shortages. You know, so Kenyans mu mu must get used to living with power shortages. The other day, the deputy president said this government needs five years to start working. So it means the first five years is just useless time wasted for Kenyans. Then they start working the other, the, the other five years. And who guarantees them they'll get a, a second chance or a second term? Uh, Mudava, two days ago, he said that uh, they need at least three years to start working. I mean, this is a government that is bent on taking all the money from taxes, increasing taxes, and then take all the money and leaving Kenyans with nothing because Kenyans are receiving nothing. That is what is surprising me. I mean, Kenyans do have a very, a very happy, uh, you know, like uh, Christmas and a happy New Year, but the signs are very bad. The signs are really, really, really bad. They're very bad. Cheer, much cheer.